so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to set up the admin dashboard for our laravel e-commerce website so guys till now we have completed that uh, front end part that is setting the navbar and the slider and then the product design right so now we will get started with the back end one for the admin dashboard so for front end we are stopping this now till here and from back end we will start with adding products and many things so we'll be continuing with it so guys welcome to laravel e-commerce part 4 and we will start with admin setup right now okay so let's go to mdbootstrap.com and they are they are giving some free e-commerce templates for admin panel you can get started or let's click on the menu bar below free templates click on it so once we go here and here is some free admin panel okay with these things they are providing us so for demo or setup to download you can use this sign up to download so let's click on demo and we'll view it here So guys, this is the dashboard now we are which we are seeing over here. Okay, so let me scroll one more side. This I just need sidebar. Cool. So they are giving sidebar also, right? So we need to set up with this also. Like when we have we are clicking over here, we need this button for that to come over here. So we'll make it custom way. So let's use this dashboard and set up our admin panel. Cool so guys now we will uh, copy this and set up this html css is not much required because we already have and this is for sidebar fixed something so i'll just copy and paste it so let's execute without css first and w uh, coming to js file this is all about the charts okay so we are not going to use this charts and all right now so in further videos future videos we will be continuing with it okay so we will just copy this and make a structure for it in the same format okay so let's get back to our application it's over here and now let's go to resource first then click on views layouts so inside layouts we are going to right click and create a file called admin dot blade dot php okay and inside inc i am going to create one more file called admin navbar dot blade dot php and so two files are there now nice okay so we will be on admin date blade dot php file and we'll get back to our google and where is our dashboard so this is our dashboard right so i'm just going to control a and copy everything and paste over there so before that copying these things we have to copy the css and js files to execute all the css designs and all but they have given only the structure you can see over here okay so for that make sure you are installing this md bootstrap so we have already installed this getting started or download or quick start so we have already done with this right so in first video we have i mean sec part 2 one we have installed with this linking css and js files so as we have inside public asset css and js files over here for front end we have included so same thing we will copy and paste it okay so let's get back to our front end if you're not understanding please watch out the part 2 video and you will understand okay so guys now let us just control a copy right click copy and go to your admin and paste here paste that's it so everything is set now instead of fab card you can set admin panel now okay so it's done and let us include the navbar front end navbar to admin navbar as we are as we require it 
so let me close this front end one not required so admin navbar so this is actually inside layouts inc we have admin navbar okay so we are just copy uh, we are calling this file over here and setting it so front end footer we require or not okay we'll just keep it and later on we'll use it so let's copy this file name copy and create one more file called admin footer dot blade dot php and leave this as blank okay later on we will work on with it so everything is set so linking css and js file is done so now we will go back to our main page i mean this one so let's copy this and fix it and now in this this is the navbar so we will just copy this navbar mm, everything is over here navbar copied and set into our navbar that's it so this is the navbar just copy and paste it ignore let's close this let's close this also and let's go back and let's scroll down so there is one side navbar over here sidebar so let's copy this sidebar also copy right click copy it and go back to hmm, your file inside inc let's create admin sidebar one more file admin sidebar dot blade dot php let's set and save so this will be the sidebar okay done and then we will check with this header so where is this header starting we'll just move on and check with this header it's some um, over here right so let us copy these two things header also main navigation copy this main navigation and header part end of the header so let's get back to code we will go to our admin blade we will include this over here main header right and the header close copy and paste so this will be our header file and now instead of admin navbar you have to include admin sidebar also right just include these two things top and bottom admin sidebar admin navbar both are included good so after this we have to call the main layout so let's call this main layout just copy this main layout and paste inside this main tag so let's paste that that's it and now finally you are going to copy the full content container until the main layout ends right so let us just go till down full below not the footer part social icons first row this is the main layout see here so main layout ends over here before that i'm copying it copy and get back and let's go to our to view that page okay so let's create one folder called admin so whatever admin work will be done inside this folder we will do it so let's create one more file called dashboard dot blade dot php hit enter and now we are going to paste in this so before pasting that you know the rules we have to extend it so let's extend that so first extend extend what you are going to extend inside layouts folder i have admin so type layouts folder dot 
admin that's it after extending we are going to paste the content so whatever the design will be inside the section of the content will be there so section called content so this content is coming from your admin folder file that is over here see here, content so just copy this and paste into your dashboard content same and then paste your code whatever you have copied from this so i'm just pasting that set that's it and now later on we will arrange with this whatever the changes are being done so guys now let us set save this and let's execute this file first okay so for this now we will just route and we'll check with it hmm. let's go to route route web.php so inside route we will call of we'll call the same function to return directly and see the output so we'll just copy this and we'll just tell dashboard and called inside admin called dashboard file save this okay this error is because um we have some extension problem with this so it is showing like this if you import this all the problems will go like you have to include that route so guys to overcome this type of error you have to just import the class so you can just see over here like undefined type route so it is asking to import the class or else ignore it because this doesn't give any kind of error but this extension problem it is there so i will just right click and import the class okay so let's import and we will eliminate support facets route use it that's it so if you want to know how to use this extension just install your uh, go to your extension and laravel help laravel not helper extension pack you can just install it okay so this is the extension pack install and use that simple so guys now it is set and let us just view the output of it and we will check the dashboard is visible or what so let's give forward slash and let's hit dashboard and we will see what is the output okay so it is coming guys but it's not coming in a proper way because it is messed up so somewhere we have missed it so that missing is nothing but we have missed at the top of it i mean to say the top divider okay, so let's copy this and call it let's go to our admin file paste over here and below this we are going to end it div so before ending div we have to include the footer just ignore this part and let's save and let's test whether the responsive is working fine not it so there is some mistake we'll just follow it and solve that simple so i'll just solve okay so guys uh, there is we are missing some css also over here so we can just try with this and we will check and execute that so guys, let's get back to code and we are in admin blade and right now we will paste above this head tags we'll just include in a style format and paste that code same thing that's it let me arrange this and save it and let's just execute and check whether it's setting or not okay so for that let's go to chrome let's reload the page boom so guys we have set successfully the admin dashboard so how we can set it everything so guys um we have successfully set this video i mean the dashboard for this admin and now we will be working on like login page and register one 
for example if we give login so we can use login and register so we will just use by the um, normal um, laravel installation auth command of 5.8 so guys uh, basic settings and things like logo everything you can just set it out and watch with the next video of the continuation of this part so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share